So let's start at the beginning. Page of Pentacles. Pages are can be messages. It can be children. Pentacles uh, are coins or earth energy. And uh, your earth signs are um, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. So um, I'm feeling that this is a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo that you are either in relationship with, is your child, uh, family member, lover, something like that. Something that um, the communication is a little bit fuzzy right now. Um, so keep being clear with your communication and open your heart to uh, kindness and where they're growing and when they're where they're not. Uh, it also can stand for messages, pages or messages. Um, and I'm feeling that you will get a message um, around some money, either money you've given out, money that's coming to you, money that you need to give, um, pay a bill, something like that. Some messages are coming from some uh, money source it looks like that you had forgotten in the past. So that will come to you. What crosses you also is the money sign. It looks like a lot of stuff is going out right now. A lot of money's going out. A lot of energy's going out. Um, it also looks like um, these the six of pentacles. So there's a lot of movement here and a lot of, of action around this. Looks like some resentment about money uh, that's going out. This is a temporary situation. Uh, it is finding your balance financially a little bit. So if this also is um, needing to create more money, you might want to look at uh, some of your gifts that you have that you can do, um, things that you can create money from. But it is a temporary situation and it will balance out very shortly. I see the balance scales here lighting up for me. So it, it feels like it's a huge drain right now and there's just not enough time, money, energy um, to complete the things that you need to complete. But just head it off one at a time, one thing at a time. And um, just open your abundance. Have some faith in yourself, Leo. You um, are movers and shakers. You're a fire sign. Um, so it is totally possible for you to create a way to make money through an, maybe an, an unusual way, whether it's art or um, a, uh, some kind of service that you have. But there are something new um, for you that you will be able to, that will be presented to you actually to make more money. But right now it looks like it's going out. It's going out. So, um, I'm also feeling that many of you Leos may be due for a promotion or an honoring in some way in your work experience. So pay attention to that. What is above you is the 10, the 10 of cups and it depicts family and a things going a little more smoothly for you. The 10 is the ending of something. So uh, what you've been working on for the last couple of months, whether it's finding housing or jobs or relationship space, there will be some resolution and it is right above you. So it's going to start mellowing out a little bit. Um, I'm sure as soon as the money situation starts to straighten out for you, you'll feel this card a little bit more. But things are starting to flow, uh, being a little gentler to you, a little kinder. The lessons are not coming so hard and fast to you. You'll enjoy uh, time with your family. Looks like possibly youngsters. There may be a new birth in the family uh, or new uh, new connection with children. Uh, I'm also feeling that either you will visit someone from a distance or someone will visit you from a distance. Um, so it's a time of great rejoicing and loving and all these cups here are emotions and it's all on the positive side. So you're going to see a completion to something that has been kind of vexing you for a while and it'll go a little smoother. Feels like it's going to go a little smoother for um, a while here. You do have the tower card here, which is lessons through destruction, but it is also clarity on the star. I'm not feeling like you're in the middle of anything tumultuous, but something will present itself and you'll know the right direction for you. Um, so 
that is what is above you the 10 the empress this is a lovely card uh, the empress is nurturing and watching your garden grow it can stand for um, for pregnancy um, if you are in your childbearing year so for those of you that do not want to create another human being right now please be aware of um, your fertility and be responsible for it. Male uh, Leos also be aware of your fertility. Um, but this is making your garden grow, planting a seed, watching it grow. For many of you, you have begun the journey of cleaning up some things last month. So this is like the culmination or the reward from putting things in order, cleaning up the things you need to, speaking your truth, planting those seeds of brilliance and watching them grow. So for many of you, it's just watching the growth of uh, the effort that you put in last month is starting to show um, a little bit of reward for you this month in October. But it also can stand for pregnancy. So please, uh, all you fertile Leos, be responsible with your birth control if you don't want that to happen. Um, but in general, it is um, watching the seeds of all your efforts grow. So that's exciting. Time for a little contemplation. This is the Four of Pentacles. It's, I, I call it the All Alone Naturally card. But it's time to take your leave from some of the hustle and the bustle and the pull from either friends, family, work, and really decide what is best for you. Uh, how to lighten your load a little bit. You've taken up a lot of slack on other people's things. It looks like the last couple of months. So really releasing the things that don't belong to you and uh, perfecting the things that do. But really take the time to listen to the God of your heart, to listen to spirit, what spirit is telling you, and to release some of the things that no longer serve you, that are holding you back from your highest creative essence and in order to do that it looks like you need a little alone time I know you're a very very social creature Leo but taking that alone time will help you put things into perspective for when you do hit those situations um, and knowing what direction to go the castle back here is lighting up for me so um, this may be thinking about your future, where you want to be in five years, where you want to be down the line. What does the big picture look like? And it's really feeling like a big picture type of energy. So do the five-year plan, figure out what works for you, um, release all the energy and the um, behaviors that don't, people that don't work for you and move into your highest creative growth. The three of wands. Well, it does look like some traveling will be in effect here. This is in the future card, but it looks like little contemplation on how to make that happen. Um, embracing some things uh, anew to make that happen. Releasing some things that don't work for you. Uh, looks like communication is really strong here. Um, but it, it's time for you to step into your power and make that, those, those highest desires happen. It looks like it's something that you've wanted to happen for a long time. So um, make that happen. Make that happen, Leo. And travel. Water is here, so it could be over a large body of water. But I know you have travel here, so it could be someone coming to you as well in the future. Um, but it looks like either someone coming to you or you coming to them. It's over a large body of water. It also looks like something that's your highest creative desire, uh, possibly even relocating to some place new and wonderful. But a movement is in the future. So take that time to really figure out what direction you want to go. What continent do you want to visit, Leo? Where do you want to make your magic happen? And here is your magic. It is the basis, the magician. It is the basis of what's going on. How do you get back to your creative essence? How do you get back to your full faith in your abilities? Uh, releasing the insecurities, releasing um, temptation, releasing other people's opinions on what you'd like to do and finding more autonomy within your own self. And it looks like you have taken that step into your magic place, have faith. Just have faith. I know that 
Immediate gratification takes too long, Leo, for you sometimes. So patience with this is a wonderful thing. You do have the Hermit card as well as the Four of Pentacles card. So time to take some alone time. I, I know that's probably a little resistant for you because you are such a social creature, but it's really time to find the light within. What do you want to do? You have so many choices and it's almost mind boggling. You have the mind boggling stuff here. You have the eight and you have the um, nine upside down. So there's a lot of stuff on your mind. Lots and lots and lots of stuff on your mind. Pick one thing and move the energy. Um, and then go on to the next. But you really need to spend some alone time to figure out what works best for you. Away from the din and the noise, away from the expectations of family and friends and, and the office. But finding some alone time to really figure out where to prioritize. Where to prioritize. There is so much happening right now for you with this eight. And these are all the things that you really need to let go you're having trouble letting go of and all the things you want to create. But in order to create these new things, you must let go of the past. You must let go of the things that didn't work, uh, not try to perfect it. If you are given the choice of two different roads coming up in October, please take the new road. Take the road less traveled. Take the new one and see if that works. As, um, some of these things that you're doing for uh, a release are... Um, or old, out-of-date ways that aren't as successful. So try um, something new. Talk to somebody new. Um, expand your resources a bit. The star card is the culmination card. It is what it's all about. You're giving, 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 giving. Now it's time to give a bit to yourself, Leo. You are very responsible for others. You are very responsible for... Um, happiness of others and now it's time to make sure that you have all your ducks in a row and give to yourself um, i'm getting a little bit of warning here if you give all your energy away to others whether it's work whether it's friends whether it's your lover um, you will have nothing left for yourself and your body will create dis-ease that can go from one extreme to another whether it's anything from a small cold all the way to fighting some kind of disease. So please take care of your body, Leo. Take care of your mind. Take care of yourself. A little self-care. I know we had that last month too, but it is a theme for you. Please take care of your physical body. Um, things that you know that you need to deal with on a physical level, please deal with them. Don't live in the head too much. Get stuck there. Put some motion to it. So that means um, exercising if that needs to be done. Checking out your nutrition. Getting adequate, adequate sleep. And saying no to the social things that you really don't want to do that you're doing just out of obligation. No obligatory efforts. Uh, only things that you really want to do that are from your heart and give from your heart. But it's time to give to you. You have all these creative projects just hanging in the wings, waiting for your attention. So please give some attention to your wonderful creative essence. And you can get that energy moving a little bit. Your burden seems very heavy right now. Um, half of these feel like they're not yours. They are not yours. You have taken on other people's responsibilities, filled in gaps for others when they have not been able to um, accomplish what you are able to accomplish. But in order to go down this road a little less encumbered, you need to let go of some of these things that don't work anymore. Could be friendships, Leo. It could be behaviors, people, jobs, people, places, things. And it's time to lighten your load. It's not working for you. It's holding you back from your healing energy. And I'm also feeling some energy around your bone structure, around your back, around your legs, um, and your supporting structures, your supporting ligaments. When you take on too much emotional things, your body um, manifests them uh, in sickness. So please take care, do some self-care, and really reflect with the hermit, reflect here with the floor and see what you really can live without, which really is more of a hindrance than a help. Find out what, what you have picked up that are others 
issues. This is a 10, so this is a completion. These are things you've been looking at for a long time. The nine is before this 10, so you will figure it out, Leo. You will figure it out. You will figure it out with kindness, love, and authenticity as well. So um, don't be afraid to jump in there, speak your truths, and let go of the things that really aren't working for you, the people that aren't working for you, jobs that aren't working for you. It is the year to look at all that stuff. But as soon as you lighten your load, and you're right there, you are right there. So really look at it honestly and take that last commitment step into releasing. And it will be much easier for you, dear Leo. The tower. Tower is lessons through destructions. If you do not release some things here, if you do not release, this is the outcome of it. The tower is lessons through destructions. That's revisiting relationships that didn't work. You know, um, uh, accepting or, uh, or committing to something you don't feel good about. Being around people that you know that are destructive for you. Toxic relationships. Um, things that really do not serve your highest creative good and essence. And if you continue to do them without really looking at it and releasing it, spirit steps in and destroys it for you in front of all the neighbors. So that does not have to be. That is not uh, an end-all, be-all, but it is a possibility if if the release doesn't happen, if the honest, integral, integral release does not happen for your your healing and your greater good, the tower will step in and do it for you. So sorry about that, but that's the way it is. All right, let's get some clarity here. here. Let's see what's going on. These are uh, chakra cards. All right, let's look at what we have. Joy and bittersweet. Okay, that's kind of to find your bliss and to find your joy. You're halfway there. Um, it's a little bittersweet that you have to let go of some friends and some behaviors and some things that, that maybe did give you joy in the past, but are no longer serving. So it's a little bittersweet to let go of some of these things to make new for um, your new creations. But if we don't release the old, if we don't release it, we have no area for the new joy. Um, and it is a little bittersweet. It is a little bittersweet. So have some faith in yourself, Leo, and um, take that first step into your joy and into your happiness.